In the year of our Lord, 732, one man became a hero for Christendom. His name was Karl the Hammer, but we now know him as Charles Martel. This is the story of his rise to power. Western Europe in the early 8th century is a place of kings, dukes and mayors. The once united Kingdom of the Franks is now fractured. Arguably, its three most important cities are Paris, Metz and Cologne. The king of the Neustrians, or Western Frankish Kingdom, is Dagobert III. But was he really the ruler? Dagobert is a 16-year-old Merovingian of the Frankish royal line a dynasty established when Clovis snatched the realm from the last Roman ruler of Gaul, but he does not hold the power his ancestor once had. For that power belongs to the mayor of the palace, a title claimed in recent times by the family of Pepin. Charles, or Karl Martel, is the son of the great Pepin of Herstal, a descendant of Saint Arnulf of Metz. In 714, Karl's father and half-brother dies, leaving the title of mayor with the seven-year-old boy, Theodalt, and the power with his grandmother, Plectrude, the widow of Pepin and stepmother of Karl. Believing Karl wishes to take the title of mayor for himself, Plectrude arrests him and holds him in her capital of Cologne. But in Paris, King Dagobert elects a new mayor, Ragenfrid, and so Theodald must flee. The young mayor musters his soldiers, and the new mayor rallies his troops to fight him. They meet in bloodshed at Compiègne.
young Theodolds is defeated. He flees to his grandmother in Cologne. Despite his new mayor's recent victory, Dagobert dies, and so Ragenfried elects another Carolingian, Chilperic II, as King of Neustria. Meanwhile, our hero of the story, Karl the Hammer, escapes from his prison and heads south to rally forces for his return to Cologne. The new king and mayor make an agreement with Redbad, King of the Frisians. Redbad is also the grandfather of the young mayor Theodald, through his mother, Theodicinda. Although related by law to the young boy's grandmother, he sees only an enemy in Plectrude. All the armies meet at Cologne, and the victor will claim the great wealth held by the widow of Pepin. This is Charles Martel's first and only defeat. He leaves for the countryside to rally more soldiers. Weeks later, as the victorious Neustrian king and his men march west to Paris, Karl and his new army ambush them. Karl scatters the Western army and sends the king and the mayor fleeing to Paris. 